Welcome to Season 6, Episode 4 of the Blending with Henry Show. Hey you guys, before we get started, please join me in congratulating Myra U. Ribe, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly, okay, <laughs> on Instagram for winning the Blending with Henry Vitamix Blended Up Giveaway. Myra won a Vitamix Pro 750 and an amazing healthy foods package from BlendedUp.com. Congrats Myra, and thank you to Vitamix and Blended Up for helping to make this happen. So you guys, you bought a new Vitamix, and on the Vitamix website there are a ton of accessory containers to buy. Confusing, right? Well, I was inspired to do this video from my loyal viewer Andrew A on Facebook. Andrew said, Hi Henry, I am not sure if you already have, but I would love to see a video on the different types of Vitamix containers, pros and cons of each. Well, I have videos like that you guys, but they are not dedicated to Vitamix containers only. I'm going to show you guys the features, the benefits, the pros and cons of all full-size vitamins containers so you'll know which ones best fit your culinary needs. The 64 ounce Classic Legacy Tall Container. The 64 ounce Next Generation Legacy Container. The 64 ounce Ascent Container. The 32 ounce and 48 ounce Dry Containers. The 32 ounce and 48 ounce Wet Containers. The differences of the 32, 48, and 64 ounce wet containers. The personal cup adapter. The Ascent 8 ounce blending bowl and 20 ounce blending cup. And the air disc container. The wet blade container has equally shaped pointed blades designed to make wet recipes, such as frozen drinks frozen desserts, fruit smoothies, vegetable smoothies, smoothie bowls, nut butters, a favorite among many, hot soups like my tomato basil and my favorite gazpacho. You can also make salad dressings you guys and more. Now the wet blade container comes with all vitamins machines and will be used for the majority of your recipes. Depending on the Vitamix you buy, it's going to come with one of these 64 ounce wet containers. Now if you buy the Explorian E310, it will come with a 48 ounce wet container. Just so you guys know, there is no difference in blend quality or performance regardless of which container comes with your Vitamix. In addition to being low profile to fit underneath most kitchen cabinets, there is an extra benefit of the wide containers such as the Next Generation Legacy and the Ascent. Now if you enjoy making your own protein bars, the wide container works better as a food processor for these types of recipes. The 64 ounce tall container, my personal favorite, is the most versatile container amongst them all. Now, this container is used most among chefs and is seen on the Food Network. Now, that is because you can use it for large recipes for families or small recipes such as single serving smoothies. The dry container has two triangular blades cut off at the tips and two flat blades designed to create dry recipes from grains as you can see me turning popcorn into cornmeal in just one minute. Perfect powdery cornmeal, great for making cornmeal crust for pizzas, cornbread, fried fish, cornmeal pancakes. Hmm, you guys hungry yet? <laughs> The dry containers come in 32 ounce and 48 ounce and they have the same footprint. Now the size you choose depends on the recipes you make. For example, if you want to create bread from wheat berries, your best choice is the 48 ounce as it's wider in the upper region making it easier for kneading bread dough. If I had a nickel, now you know where this is going, right? Okay. <laughs> now if I had a nickel for every time someone asked me, may I use the included wet container to grind dry grains? The short answer is yes, but you're best suited with the dry container. Here's why. 
The wet blade container creates a vortex which pulls the ingredients downward towards the blades. This creates a liquid effect. The dry blade does the opposite to create a powder effect, which is perfect for making flowers from grains and milling spices. Notice immediately how the grains are being pushed up away from the blades. If you're an avid baker and want the best quality homemade powdery flour, then the dry blade container is highly recommended. Most people that have a 64 ounce container tend to shop for a smaller accessory container for small recipes. Now it may not be instantly obvious, but these three containers are exactly the same size in regards to making single servings. The 64 ounce tall container has a small footprint with a 3 inch blade. Now the 48 ounce has the same footprint and also with a 3 inch blade. Now the 32 ounce has the same narrow footprint with a 3 inch blade. So aside from wanting a smaller container to fit underneath low level cabinets, it's really unnecessary to buy a smaller wet container as a companion to the 64 ounce tall container. Pairing a 48 ounce or a 32 ounce wet container with the 64 ounce wide bottom containers like these is what I would recommend. When Vitamix released the 8 ounce blending bowl and the 20 ounce blending cup for the Ascent machines, I had no idea how popular they would become you guys. Now the 20 ounce single serve cup has become the staple for competing brands. Now aside from making a typical smoothie, it's great for making nut milks, especially if you're like me who lives dairy free. And you can also add some chocolate for a rich and creamy chocolate milk. With the 8 ounce bowl, you can make a quick powdered sugar. You can also make graham cracker crumbs. Now I love making single serving sausage you guys. Now what I like is you can create flavors for yourself to eat and someone else can make a single serving of their liking using a separate bowl. You can also make some healthy baby food and give them as gifts. There have been some reports of the to-go containers not working on the ascent machines. Now while it's in the instruction manual, it's not instantly obvious. Now these two silver bars wirelessly connect to the blades. Now notice the small arrow on the blade base. The arrow on the container needs to match up with the arrow on the blade base. Before tightening, make sure they are both within the parameters of the silver bars or the container will not function. The personal cup adapter was kind of that ugly stepchild okay? <laughs> because it unexplainably uses a bowl. Now, however, it functions very well and there's been no issues. Now, it comes with its own set of blades, two 20 ounce double wall blending cups, and it's very well constructed. Now, just as the Ascent 20 ounce cup, you can make single serve smoothies, nut milks, and more. Now, it's compatible with the legacy full size Vitamix machines. There's been some reports of the 8 ounce blending bowl being compatible with the personal cup adapter. It's not, but let me show you what people have been talking about. You can simply remove the 20 ounce blending cup and attach the 8 ounce bowl into the personal cup adapter. It screws right in. Now if you're seeing people do this on the web, I recommend you do not do this you guys. Vitamix has put out a memo that the 8 ounce bowl should not be used with the personal cup adapter under any circumstances. Doing so can result in damages that may not be covered under your warranty. Now if you have any questions about this, I recommend that you reach out to Vitamix on Vitamix.com. The air disc container is Vitamix's latest accessory container. Now this thing is simply amazing. Now it uses a circular disc with holes designed to do a multitude of things that cannot be done with the standard Vitamix container. Now you can make delicious non-blended drinks like my coffee fog, a strawberry mango fog which I love, and you can make a last minute lemonade. 
can also make whipped creams for parfaits, dips for french fries, and it muddles for making mojitos. And the air disc container is compatible with all full-size Vitamix machines. I hope this helped you guys clear up any questions you may have had about the enormous lineup of Vitamix containers. Just to let you guys know, here's the amazing blended up healthy package my contest winner received. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you're interested in ordering a Vitamix or an accessory container or the blended up products, please see the links below the video or on BlendingWithHenry.com. I'll see you soon.